Welcome back to Kevin's Trooper channel. This is the channel where we do all types of DIY projects for overlanding and off-roading so don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can learn to do the same thing for your off-road rig. My Trooper went from looking like this to this right here on this channel. So today we're going to test the alternator to see if the alternator is charging effectively. You see guys what happened Whenever I first got the Trooper, I had a pretty severe valve cover leak. There was oil everywhere. And before I fixed that, I got to looking around and my alternator was literally covered in oil. And I've been curious if the alternator is charging as well as it should. I've pretty much changed everything on this Trooper except for the alternator. But you know, it's a toss up. Are you gonna go with a high quality OEM alternator that's charging, or are you gonna put an aftermarket alternator on there that who knows the quality of it? You guys know how these aftermarket parts are. So I've chose to leave the OEM alternator on there as long as it's showing strong and it really seems to be. Haven't had any problems with it, but today I decided to check it using a multimeter. Now, the first step is we want to check the battery, which is brand new, and it's a high-powered battery, so we know that it's going to be good. So what we're going to start with here is we're going to take our multimeter. Now, as I put the, the red on the hot and, and the ground on the negative, we should get, in order to be a good battery, we should get over 12.4 to 12.6, something like that. Okay, now, the first test that we're going to do is we're gonna start the car and we're going to rev the engine up to about 1500 RPM. And what we wanna see on this is we wanna see our alternator ideally between 14.2 and 14.7 volts coming out of the alternator and back into the battery in order for your alternator to be ideally charging your battery. So let's do that now. All right, so as you can see, guys, this alternator is putting out over 14 volts at 1500 RPM, so that's really good. Now that that test checked out, we have one more way that we're gonna test the alternator to see if it's functioning at its maximum capacity. And so the last step is we're gonna turn the engine on and we're gonna turn as many accessories as we possibly can, the air conditioner, the radio, the headlights, the fog lights, the overhead lights, all of that on, and we're gonna test the voltage coming out of the alternator one more time and we still wanna see a good strong output from this alternator. So let's do that now. So as you can see, that final test also checked out just fine. I don't think, even though it was covered with oil, it seems to be working great. It seems to be strong. Haven't shown any signs of any problems. So I think I'm going to keep it. There's no reason to put some cheap aftermarket stuff because obviously I can't get an Isuzu alternator and put on here very easily to replace this. Quick alternator test for you guys today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. I've got some cool projects coming up. I'm about to do front rotors, front bearings, stainless steel brake lines, and manual hubs. And remember to give me a thumbs up because it means a lot to me. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video.